Hello, this is your host Sam again with Everything Electrical here on YouTube. Today we're making the video titled Every Day's Electrician's Tools Part 1. And today I'm going to go over the cordless power tools that I use. And also I'll be showing my special termination tote, or T-tote, that I like to call it. Which I have here. But first we're going to go over the power tools and how I how I have them set up. You can see here this is a Husky case that I bought at Home Depot. They're about $30 and they're fairly new to the market. Um, a year ago these weren't around but we have them today and they're, they're really cool. Um, they have a lifetime warranty on them and um, so far I haven't had any problems with uh, the integrity of it. So on a scale of 1 to 10 I'll, I rate it as a 9 on the product scale. And the reason why I like it so much is that it's a box that on the top here you have these compartments that you can keep all your different bits in for your power tools, for your cordless drills, sawzalls, etc. And I just have some basic things in here. Um, you can see here, looks like I got a couple Phillips tips in there, whole saw arbor, and some quarter inch metal bits. Um, and here is just some more uh, knickknack type stuff. Looks like I got a, a paddle bit, different kind of Phillips head tips, metal drill bit there, hacksaw blade. Here's some more tips. Unibit. And there I have a, a 5 8 wood arbor and uh, mason, quarter inch mason bits for drilling out brick and stucco. Here I keep my sawzall blades. Keep a, a file for working with bigger EMT conduit or rigid. I have a long quarter inch metal bit here. Different blades. I have a metal blade wood blade for cutting metal or wood. So this top shelf here, it's pretty neat keeping all the stuff together in one spot, knowing where it's at. And then, bam, flips open in the bottom. Um, there's all my tools. I use um, Porter Cable. Porter Cable cordless. Um, I feel like for the money, these are really good tools. I've been using these drills for um, about two years now, and I feel like for what you pay for them versus the name brands, they are definitely def definitely worth it. Um, they work good. I have an impact there. Here's just a regular drill. And I also have a hammer drill here. You can see the hammer for knocking out the brick or the mason. Also, I keep a uh, cordless sawzall, which uh, is very, very nice to have. It's nice to have your own cordless sawzall. With that, I keep. I have five batteries here, and these batteries you can get two of these. You can get two at Lowe's. They're sixty dollars for two. And if you look at the other name brands, I see just one single battery going for over a hundred. So even though these aren't the latest and greatest, you know the lithium twenty volt whatever they got now. For the money, they, they do last and they do a good job. So I always say that you don't need the name brand, you don't need to go spend a bunch of money on cordless power tools. You can get the set with the Sawzall, the impact and the drill and two batteries of Lowe's for like 100, 120 bucks versus paying almost 200 for just a drill and impact if you're buying a name brand. So definitely I feel like there's value in them. 
and that's why I buy them. And I, I don't plan on buying any other type. I'm gonna stick with the Porter cable. And they just do a real good job for me. And if uh, for some reason you ever have to replace something from it, it's never a big deal to go to Lowe's, and you know they're they're fairly priced. So that's it, there's the case and the, the tools and the bits, how I keep it all together. Um, saves a lot of time before I had this. Um, a lot of the stuff was just scattered out in different spots. Now it's just conveniently all put together in one box. Easy. Okay, I'm moving over to here. This is what I call my T-tote, or a termination tote. And what the purpose of this is, if you're going to be working in an area for a period of time, a standard period of time, maybe you're building a, maybe you're terminating a, a large 400 amp panel, or if you're rebuilding a 200 amp surface on the side of a house, or if you're going to be in a certain spot for a long period of time, this thing works out good as just an extra set of tools and a way to keep organized. Um, what I do sometimes is I'll take a wire and tie it around to this hook and then I'll tie it up into the ceiling or maybe to a ladder somewhere so that way it will suspend in air. And uh, that allows me to grab tools quickly as I need them. Um, I keep a knife in here that has a quick change blade on it. So if I'm stripping out wires and I need a good uh, blade, I can easily just take that off there and put a new blade on there. It's good to have. Here I just have a backup set of um, dike pliers. We call them dikes. I have an extra set of needle nose. and Klein's here. All the tools that I just showed you are the are a South Wire brand and um, you can find these at Lowe's as well and they're they're pretty good quality I say that they're right there with the Klein brand they're just a little bit cheaper um, for the money I think that they're good South Wire Um, I keep my voltmeter in here. Important to have if you're working with, uh, if you're working around lectures or if you're working on stuff that is hot with electric electricity. Basically, if the power's on, you want to make sure you have a good tester to test things out. Make sure there's no voltage so you don't get hurt. Have an extra Phillips and flathead screwdriver here, just for just to have for when you need it. And on the side, I keep a, I keep a tape measure. Um, inside here, there's this little pouch that I sometimes use. It's, a, it's called an electrician's mini pouch. And sometimes I'll put that on if I'm doing something where I uh, just don't need my heavy tool bag on. I'll put this lighter bag on. Helps me move around quicker. I have a pouch here that I keep um, different different types of bits in there. For when I'm terminating, it's good to have this readily available if you need it. And I keep um, I got a quarter inch, a five sixteenths, and a three eighths hex head tip in the bag. And also, I have, well, I thought I had an extra Phillips stick in there, just in this pocket. Or no, maybe that's in the top of the porter cables. <laughs> so yeah, for right now, just the extra hex head tips. And also, in, on my list of tools to get, I want to get an adapter that I can take uh, this socket set here. And they make an adapter that fits on your impact that you can uh, take these sockets 
and it will clip into the drill, which I want to show you. But you can put any size socket on your impact. It's also important if you're doing electrical work to have a good socket set. I bought this one at Home Depot, it was about $30. And I've had it for a long time, it's been about three, maybe four years now. And I've been able to keep it all intact. I did have a problem with the ratchet that I had bought with it. It was a cheaper ratchet and um, it ended up breaking. So I got this ratchet here that my grandpa actually gave me, which is a really high quality ratchet that I uh, have had no problems with. And the way that it's built and the way that it works, it doesn't seem like it'll ever be a problem. So I would recommend if you go out and buy a socket set for yourself while you're at it, while you're there, pick up a, a high quality ratchet to go along with it so you don't ever so this so it's never a problem so you're not on the job and you're you need your sockets you need your ratchet and it breaks and you're out of luck <laughs> so you want to have a good ratchet make sure that doesn't happen and that's basically it um, here I just have an extra level and a different flathead Um, on the side here there's a pouch that I keep uh, my Allens in. These are, these are Allen sockets that you can put onto your, to your ratchet and they're good for tightening up like lugs on a panel or anything that has a Allen head on it. Good to have with your sockets. And what else do I have in here? I guess that's it. I have a had a pen in there. I don't even know I had. So that's uh, those are my power tools and my termination tote. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.